And um, welcome <laughs> to our final dazzle assembly of this term. And what a term it has been. You and your parents have got to the end of a whole term of remote learning and learning online. And here we are celebrating all of the brilliant things that you've been doing. Absolutely. Well done, guys. And you definitely deserve a break, don't they, Miss They Tyler? definitely do. Right, let's have a look who's been dazzling in each of the year groups this year. Week. So let's start with year three. Who have we got for the duty award? We've got Aisha. Oh, yay. And Aisha has been trying so hard in all of her work. Everything is submitted to a high standard every day, just as if she was in school. She has shown duty through her learning. She has been determined to carry on stretching and challenging herself in these unusual times. We are so proud of you, your teachers say. Well done, Aisha. And for Dream, we've got a young lady who has been a dream to work with online this entire term. She's been sharing technology with her siblings, but always takes the time and effort to draw out the worksheets so she completes them, just as they are set out in the assignments. She's been doing lots of the work independently and has been so supportive with other children's challenges and comments on our team's feeds. We are so proud of the effort that Mimi Finch has put in and her achievements this term. Well done, Mimi. Oh, brilliant. Well done to you. In year four, the duty award goes to Eva in class 13, Yay. and she has shown duty by coming to tuition every single week. She always contributes and is willing to share ideas. Now, Dream in year four goes to another young lady, and she has uh, just grown in confidence with her teams. She is coming to all of the wellbeing sessions with a big smile on her face and is such a positive role model to everybody else. We are so looking forward to having you back in school, Isla Whitfield. Oh, well done. Isla, that's brilliant. In year five, the duty award this week goes to Lexi Gaff. Well done, Lexi. Doing amazing work, amazingly well at home, being organised, independent, whilst home learning. I like the sound of that. Lexi is determined to succeed. Well done to you. Fabulous. And the Dream Award in Year 5, another young lady. My goodness. Oh, we've got loads of ladies yeah. today. Excellent engagement during the Reading and English Live lessons this week. A joy to talk to and working extremely hard at home. Well done, Ruby May Lucky. Ooh, well done to you, Ruby. And last but not least, in year six, oh, they've just mixed it up and done it the other way around. Oh, I know, yeah. how exciting. I'm going to do the Dream Award. Are oh, you? And a young Ooh. lady who has submitted work, every piece of work, or oh, every single piece of work, during the remote learning period. She takes on feedback well, she always edits her work, joins in live lessons and comes to the feedback sessions. And that goes to Evie White. Yay. Well done, Evie. Well done. And the GT Award this week goes to a young man who has shown a tremendous attitude to learning this term. He comes to every live lesson, responds to his feedback and always submits work. And he is a bit dazzling as well. He is. Dalton Davis, well done. Yay, well done to you, Dalton. That's amazing. If you won an award this week, yes. If you won an award this term, go you. If you haven't won an award, we still recognise all of the brilliant things that you're doing at home. And I know that your teachers are posting Dazzle Diamonds and celebrating you in their year group assemblies as well. Now we had another winner on our Facebook page this week. It's very exciting. Very exciting. They won some really nice prizes. And that was Faye Gaffney, who has won the PE Health Prize. And Mr. Aldred has celebrated you on our Facebook page. So go and check it out. Well done, Faye. Now we've also had lots of wow posts in this week. And this is a bit of a theme, but I missed a few from last week again. So apologies for that. But we had a couple from last week that I'd like to celebrate. Thomas and Bella Clegg in class 14, learning all about teeth. Oh, they did a science experiment with eggshells to see which teeth react to different liquids. Oh my goodness, well, that, that is why. Mm, I bet Coke wasn't great for that. No. So that's really, really good. Who else? Now, from last week, we have a young lady in class 11, Katerina Sharp, who tried really hard last week. Mum has said she's trying really hard with her maths 
and Mum is super duper primed. Well done, Katarina. Okay, this week's posts. We've got Evelyn Hunt in class 14, made a pizza and added, added toppings she'd never tried before. Mm -hmm. Trying something new. Miss Kempster will be proud. Definitely. Grace Jones in class 21 has completed week one of Couch to 5K. Ooh, go Grace. Go Grace. And Mary in class 12 has made lemonade. Delicious. Yeah. And a seal in class 13 has made cheesy biscuits. Very yums. Yummy. And Kinney, keeping with the food theme, yeah. has made chocolate cake. These food posts are making me hungry. Oh, yeah. So well done to you, Kinney. Now, if your parent has posted another wow comment this morning whilst we've been recording this assembly, well done to you too. We're really proud of all of your efforts. And all that's left to say is keep dazzling and most importantly, enjoy your half term. You have most definitely earned it. Absolutely. Bye. Bye.